Tam tam tam
Hey folks, welcome to the Holiday Stroll! How about that Wakefield High School marching band? No wonder they win awards every year! We'd like to very much thank all of our sponsors, but for now, I'm going to hand off the microphone to Mr. Paul Donaco, Chairman of the Wakefield Community Partnership, who brings you the stroll. Good afternoon, Wakefield. Good afternoon. And Merry Christmas. Yeah, I want to thank everyone for coming out today for the 10th annual holiday stroll. This is a, a, a great event that we've been putting on for many years, and uh, it's been a lot of hard work. Look at the crowd today. It has to be a thousand people here, and this is a great, great turnout. So I want to thank all of you for joining us today. But I need to turn around and I need to recognize a lot of people that have put this on today. So I want to start off with my committee first. We have um, from the Board of Assessors, Mr. Walter Scope. We have Director Peter Solomon. We have Chris Ta. We have Kate Dolan. We have also on our committee, Carolyn. Zeus and Catherine Cruz. Yeah, I got all these. <laughs> our dignitary, our many. Okay, we have our state senator, Jason Lewis. We have our state rep, Donald Guam. Another state rep, Paul Broder. And if you could pop the red seat for me, please. We have town council member Julius McGalvin, our town administrator Stephen Mayo, and in the background, Tony Longo, town council. And behind Mr. Longo, Peter May, the chairman. Here, I keep, you know what? You no, know why? That, hey, the only reason why he hides, he keeps calling me the chairman, and I don't know why he does that. Uh, we have two of our grand marshals, three of our grand marshals for tonight. We have Susan Majeski, Susan Wetmore, and Mr. Stephen Mayo. And we'll get to that commencement in a few minutes. Uh, do we have representatives from the Tall Spire and from? The First Baptist Church, yes we do. So could you both come up here please as well? We have Melinda Perry from the First Baptist Church. <laughs> Kathy Relihan from the Tall Spire Nursery. So as most of you know, we've had a devastating fire at the First Baptist Church, which displaced not only the parishioners of that church, but also the uh, Tall Spire Nursery that was uh, using the, utilizing the rear of the building. Um, the Wakefield Community Partnership has um, elected to offer a donation to both of them this year in the amount of $500 each to uh, offset the losses in a small way. So, both of you. Kathy and I really want to thank the entire community for the very generous outpouring that you have given us and the Wakefield Community Partnership for this donation and we thank the vendors whose fees help to do this and for all of you for supporting those vendors. Thank you so much for this and for everything that you've done. Now that Melinda said something, I have to. Um, I just want to thank you. I'm Kathy Relihan, Charles Meyer Nursery School. We've had a history in the church for 50 years. I've been there close to 30. We just want to thank everyone in town, our community near and far, that from the moment the fire happened, I know Melinda and I both have been inundated in a great way with phone calls, emails, texts, and an outpouring of love and support from every person that's standing here and behind me, and I thank you very much. Thank 
you very much, both of you. A lot of bit of business before we go on with the rest of the holidays. So today is the, uh, we would like to acknowledge with a small gift of our appreciation to the three of the four original founders of the Hall Day Stroll. An idea was formed by Mr. Mayo, who happened to approach Ms. Majeski uh, in a small conversation and said, what do you think about this? And she, in turn, went to Ms. Wetmore and they discussed it among the two of them. And Larry Andrew was brought into the mix as well. Uh, so 10 years ago, it all started with a small discussion with the four people and it evolved into something immense as it is now. So I would like to offer uh, gratitude to each of you with a gift inside. Would any of you care to speak? What started out is a very small group marching down the street in a parade to the small amount of deal uh, and people that came to town. It's so, I can't believe in 10 years how many people are here. This is wonderful. Thank you for coming. I know you all, no, no one wants to hear me speak because this isn't town meeting, but I do want to say one thing is that what really happened was the two Susans were voluntold that we needed to do something and they stepped up to the plate and if it wasn't for the two Susans and with the DeNarco, this would not happen. So let's give the two Susans a big round of applause. They really deserve it. They make us smile, they made the town shine and they really picked us up when we needed it and they continue today. I think this is the best crowd that we've had in 10 years. So again, for the two Susans, let's have a big round of applause. to turn this over to all the festivities. Please, there are many entertainment locations. There's a lot of activities being planned. Utilize them all and have a great night. It's a great day. Thank you very much for coming.
genius that we're bringing into the world will hopefully catch fire and inspire somebody else to take on a good action, inspire somebody else to take on a good resolution, and inspire somebody else to be the light in the life of someone else. And I think that can be a beautiful way to take the communal power that we have here and help it spread outwards so that the goodness and the happiness and the joy that we have here can spread outwards to our brothers and sisters who may need that light in their life. On behalf of Temple Emmanuel of Wakefield, thank you so much for being here tonight. It's really so meaningful for myself and the Temple Emmanuel community to see such a strong showing of Hanukkah spirit.